everybody a couple of things i'm home from work today is june 29th about 6 40 came out see my uh my thing right here is like this my cage i thought i had tied it up and it's leaning so i'm gonna tie that up right now and look at all these flies on my sunflower so i'm about to spray the entire yard with a fungicide um yeah don't don't know what that is i'm gonna actually check the soil with the corn the corn actually has enough water in the soil i don't have to rewater so they're looking pretty thin so i'm thinking maybe don't water them i mean there's some kind of butterfly thing right there so yeah i'm about to get on this right now spray this whole yard and um see what's going on here because this this was not on here yesterday okay everybody i just literally i had um maybe about let's see maybe about a couple of ounces i'll say to about right here a little lower i just sprayed all of this you, you put this on your water hose and it's it's for organic gardening and you just spray 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 i sprayed every garden bed in here and i also sprayed the ground you're really not supposed to step back over it once you spray but i did as you can see they gone um, I came back over here and sprayed sprayed some more I sprayed it really heavily too I also sprayed my tomato plants really good I just sprayed up and everywhere I sprayed up and everywhere because I figured if there's a green if a hornworm is in there it's gonna get it so I don't know what that was on my sunflower I don't know what that was on my sunflower plants but I got it off and usually when I spray like that it lasts for um, a while you saw stuff just hopping off and since it was hopping off I went ahead and I sprayed the ground I sprayed the ground everywhere so it could kill whatever so yeah this is gone um, I got two more bottles I made sure to stock up on this because it's summertime and I know stuff be happening um, so tomorrow I'll probably come out pick some tomatoes and um, pick some cucumbers but yeah I, I, I sprayed the crap out of everything today because you know what this is for organic use and I can whatever I pick whatever I harvest can be washed off so um, there we go with that um, Oh, I wanted to show you I found another squash you guys they are really growing where right right here found a squash here where's that big one at where's that oh she's a beauty right there so the squash are really growing the loofahs as you can see are really growing everything is really growing so uh oh i got a red strawberry you guys Oop -de -doo. okay so that's it for today um uh, i'm gonna go in in the house and shower and i'm a little bit tired but hey i got this done nothing was dying today the squash did not look like it was ticked off today so um we're doing good it's only 89 degrees outside and I'm done. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Good morning, everybody. It's going on 6 a.m. this morning on June 30th, our last day of June about going on 69 70 degrees this morning i actually came out here to harvest a lot of cucumbers some eggplants and some tomatoes so 
Let me let you see what I got going on here. Look at those cucumbers, you guys. They're huge. Um, I left this one on a little bit too long. The shine is gone. And those are cherry tomatoes. Some of the cherry tomatoes are a little overripe. Um, I don't have to leave the house till about 6.30, so I think I'm going to take one cucumber and a couple of um, cherry tomatoes and make myself a cucumber um, tomato salad. Got to be careful with the tomatoes because they have a lot of acid, so I got to be careful with them today. But one thing I wanted to show you is that what farms don't show you is what we waste. Let me show you. So look at those eggplants. They came out white. They did not come out purple or dark. Um, and look at all the dead leaves. It's a lot. So the reason why I want to show you this is because we have a lot of corporations that farm our food. I don't know what exactly goes on and why when we go to the grocery store, our, our food looks perfect all the time. But I could tell you this, we probably waste a lot more food that looks imperfect or that may grow in bad than harvest perfect food. I'm looking at all of these eggplants. I have four um, Black Beauty eggplant bushes and more than half of these eggplants don't grow right. I don't know if it's something that I'm doing and then you get some that grow. Just a moment. Had my alarm come on telling me it's 6 a.m. that grow beautifully. So just know if you're a first time um, gardener and you see stuff that's not right that's the way it grows for instance let me show you one of my cucumbers most of the cucumbers look like this let me show you they look bent like this or <laughs> they look like this they i mean a lot of them come out straight don't get me wrong and i got some really good ones but a lot of them come out looking like this. And you're like, what? Like, what's going on? This one looks better. And then I got a really huge one. I left it on there. You know. So, I just, you know, I just kind of wanted to show you guys that. Um, yeah, but nothing, nothing is, is absolutely perfect when you're gardening. And it doesn't mean that your food is bad. It just comes out a little weird. And guess what? You're going to saute it or fry it or can it or whatever anyway so it really don't matter what it look like as long as it's still good okay i did not water today it's going to be maybe close to 90. um yesterday i looked at the corn and i put my finger inside the tomato beds inside the beds and they're still wet so i'm going to allow these plants to kind of dry out a little bit because fourth of july is coming and it's going to be like 94 on fourth of july so yeah i'm gonna let them dry out a little bit today and then get back on the schedule of watering them in the evening i did you'll see at the beginning of this video i did spray the whole yard with an organic fungicide because there were some weird looking flies all over my sunflowers and i can't have that but anyway um i need to leave in about 30 45 minutes i'm gonna go in the house cut me up a quick a cucumber and tomato salad to take the work and I'll see you guys later hey everybody I'm back home it is um, June 30th and these flies are back on my sunflowers I don't know what it is Um, I'm gonna go ahead and water my garden. I just pulled all of oops, sorry. I just pulled all of this out of the corn. Corn's looking skinny, but it's like a lot of dead stuff in there. Everything's pretty much droopy. And um, uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead. Well the okra's not looking too droopy. And it looks like I might got a pepper plant growing right there. Let's see. Right there. Ha ha ha. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and um, water the whole garden. Wow, even the cucumber plants are looking droopy. And I'm gonna go ahead and water the whole garden. And then um, tomorrow morning, I think I'm going to um, spray again, because I don't know if those bugs are coming from the corn 
or what's going on but yeah I'm gonna go ahead and spray again tomorrow okay you guys let me get to it well the corn is not ready yet it's supposed to be yellow and white and when you pinch it it's supposed to be a milky color but I'm gonna go ahead and cover this baby back up because it looks like it grew in good okay everybody so this onion feels a little weak right here I just watered them I hadn't really watered them all week but yeah it's feeling a little weak let me look fill this one yeah they're feeling a little weak maybe them these next to start falling over is what I'm happy hoping happy hoping okay so I think I might have one more one one more watermelon growing. I haven't seen anything from the, um, what do you call it? I believe it's um, Jubilee watermelons. I think it's a Jubilee in the back. I just finished um, harvesting the rest of my nectarines. I have a couple of more in my pocket here. So there's no more on the tree which I think is good that I went and took them because I um, I believe the first year um, you're supposed to take the fruit off, let the tree grow out a little bit more. So I'm okay with it and the fruit is good. I'm not gonna let it waste. I just watered everything. As I showed you before, the corn, I tried to cover it back up, but it's not there yet. So the corn is supposed to be like yellow and white looking. So it looks like I may have just sacrificed one but I have many others here, so yeah, just let them to continue growing and continue fertilizing and we should be good. Um, these little flies keep coming back on my sunflowers, so I think I'm going to be um, spraying the sunflowers some more. And every time I see little flies like that, they make me itch. I'm scratching. Ugh. Um. I saw some more cucumbers. As you can see, I still see more um, beautiful eggplants are just so pretty to me. Those are growing. Um, lots of tomatoes are growing. They're still green, but this one's kind of soft. Hmm. Kind of soft. So, yeah. This one's kind of soft too. So I'm gonna see if it's gonna, if they're gonna turn red. Um, I have not seen any of the Romas turn red yet. They're staying green so far. Um, but they're still growing. This one's kind of hard. Let me look at some of these here. It's kind of soft. I hope I'm not overwatering. Um, this is my second year growing tomatoes. Look at looking at the skin on this one. I usually just touch it with my glove on. It feels good. I don't see anything wrong. Um, maybe because the skin is a little wrinkly. I'll have to look that up. Hope it's okay because I didn't water them yesterday. And you definitely have to water tomatoes regularly, but then you don't want to overwater them either. I think this is a beef steak. I think I think this is a beef. These are beef steak, and I think these may be the Kellogg's. So yeah, these are these feel a little bit um, smoother. Hmm. I'm gonna I'm gonna look that up, you guys. See what's going on with that. Okay, so I do have one or two squash growing. The loofahs are growing, and then dying off a little bit. But usually with loofahs, you don't get them to the end of the season. I don't see any melons yet. And um, I'm thinking I'm going to be harvesting potatoes this Saturday. Because they're all looking like this. So I think it's time to pull them all. I have a feeling I'm not going to get a lot of red, white, and blue. I really didn't add any soil to these potato tops and I haven't seen any potatoes come to the surface but other than that I am done for the evening a little tired worked all day so um yeah I'm gonna go on in the house now um garden's looking good and as I always say to you guys 
Please, please find peace within yourself. Please, please be peaceable with others. And I love you all. Have a good evening.